That was easy. This is the process that makes it pop into place. When I started doing this, I manifested my specific person within about two weeks. How to manifest a specific person to be in a secure relationship with you. This is so much easier than you ever thought that it could be. It really doesn't take that much at all. It's very easy, it's very fast. So if you wanna manifest a specific person fast, listen up and watch till the end because I'm gonna tell you what not to do and I'm gonna give you bonus tips at the end. Security begets more security. You manifest what you feel. You also manifest what you believe. But what you feel and what you believe often coincide. Your feelings indicate to you what you believe. So you have to find some sort of way to start feeling more secure in your life. Just in general. It doesn't even have to be on the subject of relationships at first. It depends on where you are. A trick that I like to implement before I do any manifesting at all is... Think about it. Before you can manifest what you want, you have to manifest the version of yourself that can manifest what you want. And this is like a super easy little bridge that you can use, tip trick bridge, to get you to become the person that can manifest anything that you want. And manifesting a state is so much easier than manifesting just about anything else. This is what you have to do first. See yourself being a version of yourself and feel and tap into and contemplate being the version of yourself and what it would be like to be the version of yourself that is feeling secure, feeling peaceful, feeling calm, feeling relaxed, feeling confident, and experiencing a reality where you can manifest anything that you want and you know it. Like, what would it be like to be a version of myself where I can manifest anything that I want instantly, instantaneously, fast, it's very easy, it's very fun because I understand it, I get it, I see the light and I know exactly how to manifest what I want around me. So first I'm going to work on my believability of me, myself being that person that is calm, relaxed, confident, stable, secure, and can manifest and is experiencing manifesting anything that I want. This exercise has nothing to do with actually having the thing that you want. So it's just you, the state that you see yourself being in, like the perspective that you want to have as you as a person. So you want to manifest the version of yourself that can manifest anything that you want. And you can use this to get specific on any particular attribute that you would like to possess. All right, apart from manifesting a particular thing. Now that you have become the person who can manifest anything that you want, now you're going to manifest a version of yourself that feels calm, confident, secure, stable. You could do that, or you could just, depending on where you are, you could jump straight to entertaining the idea of how it feels to be in a very secure and stable and confident, strong, loving relationship with a secure and strong and stable foundation under your feet that you are sharing together. I have manifested, I'm really good at this, and I have manifested a very, very, very stable, secure relationship that no issue and no problem has been able to shatter or destroy or anything like that. I mean, my relationship is very, very, very stable because that's how I started off manifesting it in the beginning before I even met him. It doesn't mean that we never have any issues to overcome or fork, forks in the road or any type of development taking place in our relationship or changes or anything like that. We've had a lot of those things, but through it all, our relationship is still really, really stable and harmonious and I feel very confident with him and he feels very confident with me. We feel secure and stable together and our relationship does end up manifesting that way. When I manifested my relationship before I met my current partner, 
I was manifesting this relationship. And the key, the four key words that I was using to manifest it was security, stability, confidence, and strong foundation. So I would feel and tap into the feeling of having that strong, secure, confident, or stable relationship um, that I wanted, what it felt like to be inside that relationship. It's not so much a visualization. It's kind of like more assumption than actually seeing anything or hearing anything in particular. Sometimes people really focus on details that that are more of the physical senses that just don't matter as much. Anything that is taking away from the wholeness of the reality that you're tapping into, like you're actually, when you're doing this exercise, you're creating the entirety of a reality with your assumptions about that reality. So the assumptions that you're having about that reality are being reflected in what you're feeling. The details will fill in as you get better and better at feeling into that reality, okay? So what you want is you want to practice. Sometimes you can just get a glimpse, but if you can remember having a glimpse of the reality of your choosing, then you can tap back into that. And if you're able to kind of get into that feeling, but you're not able to hold it, You can intend for yourself and know that I'm going to see more evidence of this thing that I'm manifesting and I'm going to attract a lot more things that are going to remind me and make me feel that way. And you will experience that. So you will attract songs or movies or people or just see things or hear things uh, or just randomly daydream about things that are gonna kind of make you feel the way that you are trying to feel and attracting. So I had attracted a song that really, really made me feel very secure, like very, very, very secure. So I would listen to this song like on repeat while I was basking and relishing in the feeling of stability, security, confidence, and strong foundation. And I just did that like all day long as much as I could. Every single time that the subject came up for me, I was feeling and basking and relishing in the feeling of um, security, stability, confidence, and strong foundation. And I was knowing that and assuming your assumptions are very important. I was assuming that this person was feeling that way about me. I was assuming that it was a man. I was assuming that I was attracted to this man. I was assuming that I was in a relationship with this man. And I was assuming that this was a stranger. So I was manifesting someone that I had not previously met. If you want to manifest a specific person in your life for a love purpose, a relationship, or a secure, stable relationship purpose, then all that you would change about that is you would assume, not necessarily see, but you would assume that in this reality with this person that you would assume it's your specific person. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to see them or hear their name or anything like that. But like you would do the whole process of I'm in a relationship with this person, this specific person, and it feels so secure and stable and confident and we have a strong foundation. Now, here's the thing about manifesting that with a specific person in mind. If you can reach that thought, do it. Go for it and do it all day. But if every time that you think about this person, you have a different momentum going that doesn't allow you to feel stable, secure, confident, and strong foundation, then you can't really include them in this exercise. So if that's where you're at, then what you would need to do is not include them in your idea of this visualization or this reality. The point is you want to feel as stable and secure as you can and confident and you want to just familiarize yourself with that and that feeling is going to grow. Your ability to be that is going to grow. See yourself being that in as many ways as you can on as many subjects as possible. 
And separately, apart from that, you also want to, whenever you can, have some sort of positive thought about your specific person anytime that they come up. So you need to go from question mode to answer mode. These are two different things that we're gonna bring together, okay? If, if the idea about your specific person sucks, it's not going to work because every time that you try to bring them in, it's gonna mess up the whole thing. So you have to work on feeling secure and stable and confident. And you also have to work on every time that you think about them, it has to be something positive. So like what's something that positive that you can reach about your specific person? Like maybe, well, we're kindred spirits. Like we have a connection or like we're nice to each other or like he's a funny guy, like he's a nice person, whatever it is, or like they're beautiful, like something like that. Just anything that does not trigger something negative within you, you have to train yourself to only have positive thoughts about them. Or you could just be like, yeah, they're in the bag, they're in the bag, they're in the bag, that'll work. Um, so once you make it so that your specific person on the subject of them in particular, you are able to create like a trigger where every time you think about them it's something positive not not contradictory to what you want and then you're practicing the secure thing you will eventually be able to bring those two things together and combine them okay so ultimately what you want is you want to be able to envision and imagine and assume and it's not necessarily visual it's just what's more important is the assumption so you want to be able to assume this reality you're creating a reality you're getting familiar with this reality so you want to feel the details of it feel feel the details of it if you close your eyes right now you are completely aware of all the details and circumstances of your current reality that's what you're doing in this visualization you're creating an awareness of an entirely different reality with entirely different assumptions and expectations. So you wanna spend some time in that reality to allow it to kind of form and mold, right? Um, so security, stability, strong foundation and confidence. You add the person and you assume it's your specific person that you're experiencing this stable relationship with. That's it. Whatever you need to do in order to make yourself be in the vicinity to be able to make that visualization happen, you do that. So like, that's what a lot of my other videos are about. If you would like to see a playlist of my other videos on how to manifest a specific person, I'm gonna put that right here for you. You can follow all the tips, tricks, and techniques that I go over. But basically what you're doing is you're just getting yourself ready so that you can do this process right here. This is the process that makes it pop into place. When I started doing this, I manifested my specific person within about two weeks. And of course, after that, there's always more unfolding. And I mean, that's been going on for a while, but like things pop into place is what I'm saying. When you change the way that you're feeling on a regular basis and you keep that up consistently. Now, two weeks, it does not sound like a long time and it's not especially in the scheme of things but the thing about it is that in the moment if it doesn't happen in one day you're gonna have doubts stop it stop doing that what you need to do is just keep redirecting yourself and be persistent if you're not persistent it doesn't work persistence is what manifests so you just redirect yourself back into the feeling or back into yeah that thing is in the bag and I know that it's happening no matter what I do no matter what I think no matter what I feel it's happening no matter what that's all you need to give yourself some insurance about this look if you found this video helpful click the like button and let YouTube know this was an awesome video also if you would like more videos like this hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button. I come out with new videos every Tuesday through Friday, 2 p.m. EST. If you would like to join my exclusive membership community on Facebook, I'll have that link below for you guys. If you would like to receive transcripts of my new videos, you can sign up for emails below. Comment and let me know what you would like me to talk about on my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. That was easy.